and we've just had uh, just had a snack at the Laurel Bank Tea Rooms and now we're off to the Tala Reservoir as we commence our afternoons shenanigans here we go Yeah, Laurel Bank Tea Rooms, blooming lovely. Highly recommended in Brough or Brow. Not quite sure what you call it, Brough or Brow. But absolutely delicious. That's like now we're off to uh, to look at some reservoirs. Look at those blooming hills over there. Oh, I'd love to live in a place like this. Just uh, saying to Brian, this is the third, sec third, or maybe the fourth time we've done this, and uh, I just never get bored with it. <coughs> never get bored with it at all. And uh, it's one of them places you can just keep coming back and doing it again and again and again. The roads are so brilliant, and the, uh, the scenery is just so stunning. It, uh, you know, do it, just carry on doing it, forever. So yeah, there'll be earlier videos of uh, of me doing this on different bikes. I think one of them was doing it on my uh, XV950, one of them was definitely on my uh, <coughs> Yamaha MT-09. I don't think I ever came up here on the uh, Tiger Explorer. Um, I did. I think I bought that after the last time we came up here in 2018. Bloody hell, that long. 2018 on the uh, on the MT09. But uh, yeah, as I say, wonderful place. Bikers Paradise. So the talk is that we'll do the NC500 next year. We'll uh, start to plan and maybe uh, line up some accommodation for that next year. When we get home. And, uh, that will be nice to do. And uh, open if things can properly get back to normality can maybe look at the Wild Atlantic Way the year after next, so 2023. So, uh, I still want to do Switzerland, Switzerland I want to do the uh, Picos de, de Europa. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, still a couple on my bucket list. Uh, maybe we should try to get those done before I'm 60. It's the way to do it. That gives me three years. Steve Clark had his videos of Switzerland for inspiration again and uh, maybe start to get that plan. And then in the meantime, there's sort of plenty of days or two days around Wales having the having the caravan as a base in, in Wales is a is a uh, is a bonus, isn't it? I can do an excursion north and south. Uh, as an infill at any time I want to sort of thing so uh, the plan is for the uh, for the Tracer 9 and me to do plenty of uh, plenty of adventures together just rolling hills and countryside that's lovely nothing like it
I think that out. It's ten past one, making good time today. There's the bar approaching. Tala Reservoir. That's a, look at that house over there. That'd be a place to live. So beautiful. Even though they've been stripping the trees off. a bit low oh, that's probably about where not all for when I've seen it this time of year before look at that I just thought the GoPro does it justice
floppy there, bro. You alright there, Al? You alright?
to say, bro? Not for COVID. It's a what? Indian. You know, it, it, before you, it's like it's gone to rack and ruin. If you used to have to walk around it, Tibetan. Yeah, Tibetan. Tibetan monks, or whatever they call it. It's like they've just left it and got to pop it, like it is. Yes. Well, shut it up and forgot about it. From the Sammy Ling trustees. That's a shame. Right, this is the B723 to Lockerbie. Brilliant road. Tibetan Monastery Centre, whatever it is, uh, but it's been closed since March last year, so we couldn't uh, couldn't miss it. It looks like it's uh, potentially never going to open again. So uh, that's quite sad to see, really. The place seems to have taken a little bit of a, a downturn as well, looking a bit sort of uh, wherewithal. Uh, yeah, really quite sad to see that. It was a very peaceful and tranquil, lovely place. And uh, yeah, that's a uh, yeah, bit of a shame, really. But hopefully it'll open again. Really do hope it does. But it's been an absolutely brilliant day today. I've been mean, really enjoyed it. Got to all the places we want to go to. We've put the drone up a couple of times. I need to practice and prove my drone uh, footage and stuff. And, uh, it really has been a great day. The weather has been really kind to us as well. So, arrived in Lockerbie.
Thank you.